Hello everyone, this is chapter 6, Elasticity part 4. In this part, we'll be talking about different types of elasticities. Okay, we'll be covering the first three types in elastic demand, unitary elastic or unit elastic demand and elastic demand. Let's get started. Types of elasticity, number one, inelastic demand. So when you think about inelastic demand, there's some responsiveness in quantity demanded, but not a great deal of responsiveness. So idea goes like this, percentage change in quantity demanded is less than the initial percentage change in price. Let me give you an example immediately. You increase the price of cigarettes, cigarettes, okay, by 10 percentage points. So it's a positive 10 percent. Quantity demanded of cigarettes went down. Yes, that was the purpose. However, by three percentage points. Yes, there is responsiveness, but not a great deal. How do we, you know, how can you classify a great deal of response or there is no response? Well, you just look at the initial change. Is the response greater than or less than the initial change? Well, negative three is definitely less. Therefore, you have an elastic demand. Okay, so the most general form is one percent increase in price less than one percent decrease in quantity demanded so if ten percent increase in price generates negative three percent decrease in pro uh, quantity demanded uh so what we do how did we find price elasticity of demand negative three divided by ten right percent change in quantity demanded divided by percent change in uh price it's negative 0.3 this is an elastic how do i know because it's less than one in absolute value okay so one percent increase in price that's what the elasticity gives you I'm whispering one percent increase in price less than one percent decrease 0 0.3 0 0.3 percent decrease in quantum demand and you got yourself in elastic demand so whenever you see price elasticity of demand between negative one and zero that's in elastic or in absolute value these funny little bars mean absolute value basically absolute value operator grabs a number negative 123 and spits out the positive version okay so in absolute value this is an absolute value is 0 0.3 it's between 0 and 1 you have last in elastic demand so this sign this little funny e sign means this uh, variable takes on a value between this interval 0 1 these brackets I mean parentheses I'm sorry remember from math class this is an interval that does not include those numbers so 0 is here 1 is here right so every number between them so 0 point negative 0 0.9 this is an elastic demand example as well I'm about to get rid of all the inks on this slide. So this is what it means to have an elastic demand. Cigarettes actually have pretty inelastic demand. Price elasticity of demand for cigarettes is found out to be negative 0.15. Do you know what this means in plain English? Increase the price by 1% um, quantity of cigarettes demanded will go down by only 0.5% or if you want to see the impact a little bigger multiply everything by 10 increase price by 10 percent points quantity demanded decrease by 5 percent touch points that's in yes there's some responsiveness but response is super low let's talk about elastic elastic means demand quantity demanded is very responsiveness to a price change okay interesting how percentage change in quantity demanded is more than or larger than the percentage change in initial price change whenever you calculate elasticity just like in the previous example remember the barbershop barbershop example when we increase price from 30 to 40 dollars this is by the way chapter 6 this was part 3 remember at the towards the end we increased the price from 30 to 40 bucks we found price elasticity of demand to be 2.33 so this is a number that is less than negative 1 so if when you calculate price elasticity of demand you find it being less than negative 1 you have elastic demand or in absolute value that means forget about this negative sign in absolute value if it's greater than 1 there you go 
So if you calculate price assist of demand negative 233, let's say in absolute value this guy is 2.33 greater than when elastic. It's classified as elastic demand. What does it mean in plain English? I'm about to tell you what it means. It means it's bananas, not really. It's an example actually. Bananas have elastic demand. Cigarettes have inelastic demand. Gas, gas also have inelastic demand. Gasoline. Uh, bananas have elastic demand. Basically, if you increase the price of bananas by 10%, quantity demanded, so will go down by more than 10 percentage points. Let's say 12. Okay, I just made that number up. So response is really big here. Okay, so um, let's move on. Unitary elastic demand. This is one case in which actually percentage change in quantity demand is the same as percent change in price. This is what happened when we increase price to 30 bucks. Remember, we had found price elasticity of demand was exactly equal to negative one, right? So which means 1% increase in price causes an exactly 1% drop in quantity demanded. So when you calculate price elasticity of demand, if you find negative 1, that is considered unitary elastic demand. Or in absolute value, it's 1. Example would be beef. If you increase price of beef, if you increase price of beef by 10% point, quantity demanded goes down by... <laughs> believe it or not almost 10 percentage points okay so we this concludes uh, the first three kinds of elasticities